Hi, for this video, we have another word problem to solve. For this one, Ethan has $25,000 to invest and wants an annual return of $1,500, which requires an overall rate of return of 6%. He can invest in a safe government insured certificate of deposit, which is also known as a CD, um, but this particular CD only pays 3%. Um, to obtain the 6%, he agrees to invest some of the money into non-insured corporate bonds paying 8%. How much should be placed into each account to achieve his goal? Uh, so with this, the most important thing that you have to remember is that in simple interest, we are going to use simple interest for this one. Um, compound interest would be more complex, and so we're just going to use simple interest. Um, the simple interest formula, remember, is the interest is equal to the principal, which is your starting amount, times the rate as a decimal, times the time in years. So when you have something like this, basically we have two different places that we're going to put the money into. Um, we have one that pays 3%, and that's the CD. And then we have one that pays 8%. And it doesn't matter how you set up your table. Um, you could set up your table differently. You'll get the same answer. So what we're going to do is we want to look at our principal amount that goes into each of them. Remember, principal is our starting amount. And then we want to look at our rate as a decimal. So always put this in as a decimal and not as a percent. So remember the rate for this one is percent divided by 100. So you take whatever the percent is and divide it by 100 to get your rate. And your time, remember this has to be in years. And then the last column is going to be our interest. And remember that the interest is using this formula, the principal times the rate times the time. So that's how we're going to do that. We have three different places that we have the money or that we sorry, three different areas. Um, we have a bond. We have the CD that we're going to be putting money into. And the last one is our total amount. So if you remember, this would be our total amount that we're going to invest. So that's what would go here. This would be our principal amount that we are going to invest. We don't know how much we're going to put into both of these. So it doesn't matter which one you set up as X. I'm going to set up my bonds as X. So I don't know how much I'm going to be putting into here. Anytime you don't know how much you're putting into something, that's just where your variable would go. So we would just put an X. Together, the bond plus the CD has to equal a total of 25,000. So since we're putting X into our bonds, whatever we put into our bonds to get the CD, we would take the 25,000 minus however much we put into our bonds. Our rate of return for the bond is 8%. So we would do 8 divided by 100, which is 0 0.08. And our rate for our CD is 0.03. And our time, we just want for after one year. And remember that the initial rate was 6%. So had they not given us the 1500, we would have to just do 25,000 times 0 0.06 to get this answer here. But we want to earn a total of $1,500 in interest. So for this one, we would simply just multiply across. This would give us 0 0.08 times the amount that we put into our bonds would be the amount of interest that we earned. For this second one, we would have to do the 0.03 times 25,000 minus X. So I'm going to go ahead and distribute this in. And when I take 0.03 times 25,000, I end up with 750 minus 0.03 X. And so together, if I were to add these together, the interest from the bond plus the interest from the CD has to equal the total interest earned. So that's the formula that we're going to use, or that's the process that we're going to use. So we would just take our interest from the bond, which is 0.08x, plus the interest earned from the CD, which is the 750 minus 0.03x, and we want a total of $1,500 in interest earned. So we would simply solve this equation. So I would combine my like terms, so I have 0.05x, 
plus 750 equals 1500. We would subtract the 750. So we end up with 0.05x equals $750. And so we divide both sides by 0 0.05. Since we are dividing by a decimal, if you remember back to like elementary school, when you divide by a decimal, you have to move this over two places to the right. So this is really 75,000 divided by five, which is why I end up with a value that is much larger than you would expect. Um, so with this, we end up with a total of $15,000 is what we would need to put into this account. So if we look back up here, that's why having this helps us out. We can see that our bond is the $15,000. So for this, we would say that Ethan needs to put... fifteen thousand into the bonds and then our CD we would just simply do twenty five thousand minus fifteen thousand so the CD would equal twenty five thousand because that's our total amount that we're investing minus the fifteen thousand which gives us ten thousand into the CD or the certificate of deposit to earn 6% per year. So this is how we would set it up. Ethan needs to invest 15,000 into the bonds and 10,000 into the CD to earn this desired 6% per year. If he needed more, like he wanted to earn more, he would have to put more into the higher yielding account. If he wanted less, then you would put it into the lower yielding account. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know.